Hey everybody, this is Chris with Overclockers Club. Today we're going to have some fun with fans. So today we're going to do something a little different. Uh, we're not actually reviewing any products, but we're going to have some fun with fans. If you remember, Sheldon on uh, Big Bang Theory had his little podcast called Fun with Flags. This of course is not a group of flags, but it's a group of fans. These are actually out of uh, an old Dell PowerEdge server, uh, 2850, 2950 from around 2005, 2006. Uh, a couple of servers got decommissioned, so I grabbed the fans out of them. These things are enormously loud and they move a ton of air. I mean, they sound like a jet engine when you first turn the server on and all these little fans spool up. It's amazingly loud, but I always wondered what would they do if you actually mounted them to a cooler? So we've got this nice cooler here from Cooler Master. It is the, if I turn the box over right, the Master Liquid PL240 Flux, the white edition. You can check out the review for that in the link in the description. But anyway, uh, I wanted to mount these to a cooler. This is a 240 millimeter radiator. And here's what these little fans look like when you pull them right out of the server. They've got a mounting bracket and I, I pull all this stuff off since I don't need it for this particular application. But uh, these are 12 volt fans, uh, 1.68 amps. I don't know the RPMs, but like I said, they sound like a jet engine. So in order to mount all these little fans to the cooler, I had to make a bracket. So you can see here, uh, here it is on the mill being machined. I drew up a little drawing of it and then uh, you can see here what it looks like when it's almost done. And when it is done, I went ahead and mounted the fans to it. And then I've got four holes at the corners that will attach this to the radiator. Now right now I've got them in uh, a pole configuration so they will actually pull the air through the back of the radiator and exhaust it from this side over here. And the trick is going to be, really the hardest part is going to be getting all of these wired up and then uh, finding a power supply or a power source that can deliver 12 volts and uh, 1.68 amps to all of these. So I've got the fans removed. I'll go ahead and install this bracket. You can see how I hollowed out the back side here so that the fans are not directly up against the radiator. And uh, since the four corners would interfere with the holes on the corner fans, we'll just use three uh, fasteners to hold the fans on in the corners. But it'll be interesting to see how this performs compared to the, uh, you know, the standard fans here, the 120 millimeter fans that come with the cooler. Now I know this is not anything that uh, has any degree of practicality to it. It's just one of those. I wonder what this will do, and let's let's just play around a little bit. Sometimes it's nice to take a little break from the reviewing and just have a little fun. So we'll get this all mounted and get the fans on there. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that reviewing products is not fun. It certainly is. This is just fun in a different way. So I went ahead and figured out that on these plugs, the uh, red and the black wire are what supply power to the fans. And uh, what I need to do is tie all, basically all the red wires together and all the black wires together. And then supply uh, roughly 13, 14 amps at 12 volts in order to get these all up to the maximum speed. And actually I figured out that I can just pop these wires right out of the connectors here and that will make soldering all these together or at least soldering a common lead to all of them that'll make that a lot easier okay so the top four fans are wired together I don't have the bottom four connected uh, in just yet I'll do that here in a moment, but I'm curious to see what these sound like just with four fans. Let's go ahead and put some power to it. Yeah. 
Sheesh. Okay, so uh, I think with eight fans, that thing's going to want to launch off the table. And now I have all eight wired up. So let's power them up and see. Okay, so the test system here, uh, this is the uh, Cooler Master PL240 Flux. This is the RTX 4070 from NVIDIA. Motherboard is the MSI Z790 Carbon Wi-Fi. The uh, CPU is a 13900K. Memory, I've got 32 gigabytes of Mushkin Redline DDR5. And the power supply is a little hard to see, so I'll just show the box here. This is from MSI. It's the MPG A1000G PCIe 5, the latest from MSI. Now I did some searching and I did find, uh, it looks like the original data sheet from the manufacturer. I was trying to see what the RPMs uh, are and it shows the maximum here is uh, 11,000, which is screaming fast. And then uh, CFMs at uh, zero static pressure, we're looking at 61.72. So you multiply that times eight fans, and uh, that's close to 500 CFMs. Of course, uh, the zero static pressure means you don't have any impedance or anything to restrict the airflow, which you will have on the radiator. Now, right now, I've got the stock fans set up uh, on the cooler, and we're going to look at a baseline temperature and then uh, use the same settings. We'll mount this on there and just see if this has any effect at all. So like I said, the goal here is to compare uh, what all of these fans will do as far as cooling uh, when compared to the factory fans. Whoops, if I don't stick my finger in there. Uh, my test system here, I'm using a 13900K on the CPU. And I can't really overclock it too much because it dumps so much heat into the system. All it does, uh, all it will do is just peg this at, you know, 99, 100 degrees C. And uh, that doesn't really do much good. So what I did was I messed with the overclock here and I got it. Uh, right now I've got it at uh, 41 on my ratio. So that's right around 4.1 gigahertz. Uh, at that level, and I've got the uh, stress test right now. I'm just a little bit below 100, so it's sort of hovering here between 96, 97C. I let it run for quite a while here so we get a good thermal soak on the system. So now, uh, with the same overclock, keeping the same settings, I will mount this system on here and just see how many degrees it pulls uh, lower uh, on this than with the stock fans. Okay, so we've got this wired up. Uh, I've got this on a little momentary switch down here so I can turn them on and off. And for those of you watching at home, you may have noticed that my radiator support here, I went high tech and uh, yeah, it's a box. Hey, but it gets the job done. All right, so now I'll go ahead and get the, uh, get the stress test rolling. We're using Prime 95, and there we go. And let me click back over here on the temperatures. Let me zoom in so you can see what's going on. All right, here we go. So earlier, with the stock fans, we were around 97, 98C, and it looks like we're holding around 87, 88C, so roughly 10 degrees cooler. 
with uh, the same stress test and the same overclock. And I went ahead and shut the fans off but left the stress test running so we should yeah we're up to 99 100 C so we'll turn the fans back on let's see how quickly we can bring it back down down to 95, 94, 93, 92, okay, so it's dropping pretty good, pretty good rate, There's 89, 90, test and I'm a little curious as to what the decibels are so ambient is around 37 and I'll uh, I'll move the uh, decibel meter here about three feet away from the fans we'll see what they show up as so let's go ahead and turn them on I'm about three feet away. All right, it's uh, about 78, a little over 78 decibels at three feet away. Okay, so what did all that prove? Not much really. I mean, it did bring it down by about 10 degrees. Uh, it's not practical. No one's going to use server fans to cool their CPU. But I figured what the heck, you know, let's have a little fun, see what it does. Well, I hope you had as much fun watching this as I did putting it all together. It was a little bit of work, but it was a lot of fun. So this, hey y'all, watch this moment <laughs> has been brought to you by Overclockers Club. If you liked it, click the subscribe button and we'll see you again next time at Overclockers Club.